Lafayette Ronald Hubbard, also known as L. Ron Hubbard, was born on March 13, 1911, in Tilden, Nebraska. He was known as the Ecclesiastical Pope of the Church of Scientology, and as many experts now believe, the creator of the Prison of Belief. Following in the footsteps of his father, L. Ron Hubbard had joined the Navy in the midst of World War II as a Navy officer. However, he had failed miserably in his time there and was dishonorably discharged before the end of World War II. He was haunted by his time as a young adult in the military and had claimed to suffer visual impairment, lameness, fatigueness, and had actually been overcome by real psychosis. In October 1947, he had sent a letter to the government asking for help, but his pleas went completely unanswered. On May 9, 1950, Dianetics, the Modern Science of Mental Health, was published as an answer to the world at large and as a private soliloquy into the author's own personal issues. L. Ron Hubbard had sent copies to the psychiatry community asking for their genuine opinions and summaries of his work. However, most of the psychological community had laughed at him and compared his work to psychological folk art, and shortly after most of the community had shunned him. This led to a lifelong avengement of psychiatry through Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard had believed in power and reaching an untouchable status within society. Upon finishing Dianetics, he proceeded to write a series of Bibles as the basis of creation for Scientology, a mystery religion based off the findings and teachings of Aleister Crowley and Hubbard's own personal beliefs. The mystery of the religion was sold as a larger-than-life idea to celebrities and very wealthy businessmen and women all around the globe. His plot had succeeded tremendously. What many came to find out, however, was that as you progressed up the bridge of success within the church, your presence within the religion was more dangerous. Once an individual approached an operating Thetan level, inevitably your personal secrets you had told the church, the church's upper secrets that you had believed in, and the monetary loss that you had provided to the church would be held as blackmail above your head if you had ever contemplated leaving the church or thinking about leaving the church, therefore continually instilling a cycle of monetary gain for the Church of Scientology. As of today, 2018, the Church of Scientology is still recognized as an IRS-approved church. Their membership is believed to be around 20,000 or less people, as the church assets remain at a staggering $4 billion. Lafayette.